Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I've been out using the ZV-E10 a lot, and I will say that it's a really fun camera to use. I've been doing little shoots here and there, taking a little bit of video here and there, taking some pictures here and there. And uh, overall, I think it's a really fun camera to use. And uh, I kind of wanted to test it in a little bit of a studio setting today. I have the 1.4 Sigma on there, and that's one of my favorite lenses of all time. Uh, I know they have that 15 millimeter Sony out now, and I'm sure it's uh, much better, but um, the 16 point, the 16 1.4 has been one of my favorite lenses since I started with the Sony system. And uh, we kind of want to see what it looks like in the studio setting. And this is what you can expect using, you know, the ZV-E10 and the 16 1.4. Uh, I'm sure it's going to look good because anything shoot with the, the 16 1.4 always <laughs> looks uh, unbelievable to me. I want to talk a little bit about the ZV-10 and how I think it's a smart camera for Sony to be coming out with. And let me start off by telling just a little bit of a story. A while back, I gave my daughter uh, my M50, my Canon M50. And she really liked the camera and she used it a lot. But then somebody stole it out of her car. Man, I hate thieves, but you know, she left the car door open and somebody jacked it out of her car. So I wasn't using uh, the A6400 that much, so I went ahead and gave her the A6400. And with the 6400, I gave her the kit lens, a 16 to 50 power zoom, and I gave her a Sigma 50 millimeter equivalent and a Sigma 85 millimeter equivalent. <laughs> you know, of course those lenses are much better than the kit lens, but she has pretty much just glued the kit lens uh, on that camera and just had the best time ever shooting photos and videos with that camera and that kit lens. And then on top of that, my other daughter, she needed some pictures for a school project. So she asked me if I had any pictures of it that she might could submit for the school project. And I went back through some of my files and stuff. And I started sending her all these pictures. I mean, all with my best, you know, 1.8, 1.4 lenses that I have pictures that I've taken a lot of time to edit and process and get just right. And, uh, you know, I really was proud of those pictures and I sent them to her hoping that she would use one. What did she use? Now, she uses a picture that uh, was taken over with that 6400 with the kit lens, you know, just right outside the house, no background blur, no, nothing fancy, uh, no grading, no editing, nothing. In the end, some people don't really care about any of this stuff that you know we make a big deal out of and that's where I think that Sony's been really smart with developing this camera. Your sales are getting killed by cell phones. Now what kind of camera can you come out with to kind of combat that? And I think the ZV-E10 is, is a perfect camera to kind of combat cell phone, cell phone usage. Like you know if somebody is using a cell phone they're going to expect really good autofocus. They're going to expect good audio, uh, easy to use, uh, just point and shoot, get the job done, get the picture, get the video. And I really think that that's what the ZV-E10 uh, produces. Super easy to get good results with the ZV-E10 without much trying at all, without understanding the camera at all, without going into the menus and you know dissecting every little thing here and there and everywhere. So it's just a really easy camera to use. I think just in general, uh, if you don't know anything about cameras or are not interested in learning, you know, how a camera works or what all the buttons do and what all the settings do, I think the ZV-E10 is just a really, really good camera for that. So anyway, just a little bit of a discussion about the ZV-E10. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.